Welcome. Today we're taking on a topic that stirs curiosity, anxiety, and way too much misinformation. Penis size, how to measure it correctly, and what actually matters for American men over 50. Here's a reality check most guys never hear. Roughly 95% of men who worry about size fall within the medically normal range. Most of that worry comes from distorted comparisons, camera angles, selective casting, and edited imagery, not your biology. Take a breath. You're likely fine, and your health and confidence are worth protecting. If clear, judgment-free men's health content helps you, please like the video and subscribe. Drop a question in the comments for future deep dives. Your engagement really does expand this community. And if you want to go further, becoming a channel sponsor keeps evidence-based content ad light and accessible to the men who need it most. Let's get precise. Size has two dimensions, length and girth, circumference. The most reliable clinical measure of length is flaccid stretched length, which closely correlates with erect length. How to measure length? Properly, use a firm ruler. Place it at the pubic bone, gently compressing the fat pad until the ruler touches bone. While flaccid, stretch the penis comfortably, not painfully, and measure to the tip of the glands. For erect length, repeat from the pubic bone along the top of the shaft to the tip. Avoid measuring from the skin or underneath. Both inflate the number and create false expectations. How to measure girth? Use a soft measuring tape or string you can mark. Wrap it around the mid shaft, not at the base or the tip. Record the number where the tape meets. Do it flaccid and erect for comparison. For consistency, measure at the same time of day in a warm room and at similar arousal levels. That gives you a stable baseline you can trust. What do solid studies show? When measured correctly, about 90-95% of men fall between 10 and 16 centimeters, 4.0, 6.3 in for length, with a global average around 13.2 centimeters, just over 5 in. On the extremes, a micropenis is commonly defined as 7.5 centimeters, sin 3 in, erect or stretched. Unusually large sizes can exceed 24 centimetro, 9.5 in. Both are rare outliers. Erect girth averages cluster near 11.5 centimetro, 4.5 in, with most men between 10 and 13 centimetro, 3.9 to 5.1 in. If you're anywhere near those numbers, you're squarely normal. Perspective helps. In classical Greek art, the ideal male was depicted with smaller genitals, symbolizing poise, discipline, and reason. Cultural ideals change your physiology doesn't. If this message might calm a friend's worries, share the video. And yes, post your questions or best practical tips below. The comments are part of the classroom here. Practical wins for men, 50 plus. Trim the belly fat pad. It reveals more base length without surgery. Warm up first. A hot shower reduces retraction and stabilizes measurements. Train your pelvic floor smartly. Quality squeezes, not endless reps, over-tensing backfires. Move daily. Brisk walks plus two strength sessions support endothelial function and testosterone rhythm. Sleep seven, eight hours. Poor sleep undermines nitric oxide signaling and erection quality. Review meds with your clinician. Certain blood pressure meds, SSRIs, etc. that can affect function. Skill beat size. Pacing, presence, and aftercare usually matter most to partners. Looking for a gentle daily nudge for circulation and performance? Consider a nutrition-first option designed to help your body generate more nitric oxide. No, naturally. It combines a concentrate of dietary nitrates that convert into no, adds crucial amino acids your system uses to maintain steady no levels, and includes natural antioxidants that support nitric oxide synthase, the enzyme that helps produce no. Together, these mechanisms support vessel relaxation and expansion for healthier blood flow, and can enhance mental clarity while helping keep your blood vessels in good condition. When you're ready, Tap the pinned link in the comments to see details and decide if it fits your goals. If this is useful, consider becoming a channel sponsor or sending a small gift. Your support funds, interviews, diagrams, and step-by-step -step guides for this community. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss the next evidence-based episode. Curious about enhancement options? Let's separate signal from noise. Girth enhancement with hyaluronic acid 
HA fillers can add roughly 2 tos 3 cm of circumference for about 12 tos 18 months. HA is absorbable and, when performed by an experienced medical professional, is typically safer than permanent materials. Steer clear of non-absorbable fillers, industrial silicone, or permanent microspheres. These can cause chronic inflammation, hard nodules, distortion, and long-term tissue damage. Length is a different story. Pubic area liposuction doesn't increase true length. It reduces fat so more shaft becomes visible. Releasing the suspensory ligament may add 2 to 2.5 cm of visible flaccid length, but not erect length, and it can reduce stability during intercourse. Scarring and disappointment are common. Penile implants are medical devices for significant erectile dysfunction, not cosmetic lengthening, and are reserved for specific cases after conservative options fail. Lower risk upgrades you can start this week. Blood pressure mastery. High BP silently injures arteries that feed erections. Treat it aggressively and safely. Morning light, evening wind down. Align circadian rhythm to support testosterone and deep sleep. Plate building. Nitrate-rich veggies. Beet, arugula, omega-3s. Magnesium-rich foods. Hydrate well. Training mix. Two strength sessions weekly plus brisk walks for endothelial fitness. Sensitivity reset. Vary technique, pressure, and tempo, focus on arousal, not speed. Stress valves, slow exhale breathing releases pelvic floor tension and boosts blood flow. Private tracking, log sleep, movement, mood, and erectile quality to spot your patterns. Communication, ask what your partner enjoys. Presence beats performance anxiety. Conversation beats comparison. Most partners prefer warmth and attentiveness over any number on a chart. Show up present, be curious, listen, and check in. Skill and connection travel farther than centimeters ever will. If you agree, share this video with a friend and tell me in the comments which habit you'll try this week. Your ideas genuinely help other men. A like and a subscription go a long way. And if you're able, becoming a channel sponsor keeps these deep dives accessible for everyone. Quick recap for men over 50, measure correctly, manage blood pressure, Move daily, train your pelvic floor wisely, sleep like it matters, because it does, and use nutrition to support nitric oxide pathways for healthier blood flow and clearer thinking. For a simple, time-efficient helper that nudges no production via dietary nitrates, amino acid support, and antioxidant-assisted nitric oxide synthase, check the pinned link in the comments when you're ready. Thank you to everyone who sponsors the channel or sends a small gift your support directly funds the research, illustrations, and practical scripts we produce each week. Subscribe if you haven't yet and pass this along to someone who needs stigma-free, science-based guidance. Disclaimer. I'm an AI urologist sharing information from open sources for educational purposes only. This is not medical advice. Do not start, stop, or change any treatment based on this video. Always consult your own urologist or licensed healthcare provider for personal guidance.